So it's done. Ashworth won't be a problem anymore. Good. But Emily, there's something else. Back when I lived in Dunwall, I did things. That I'm not proud of. Isn't that a requirement for citizenship? What I've got to say is not a joke. I knew Delilah and Ashworth. Bought into their bullshit. Which led me down a bad road. To be honest, before all this, I thought Delilah dead. I don't want to get into it right now. But I felt like you should know. There are things I regret. All right, Megan. Thank you for opening up. If only a little. I'm starting to feel like you deserve it. Are you ready to leave now? Yes. Let's go. Take me back to the Dreadful Whale. Another step toward the Duke of Sirkonos. And Delilah.
For several years, Delilah's been here, getting stronger, turning people against me. Why didn't I see it coming? What was I doing during that time? Pretending to listen at court, ruling through an army of bureaucrats, waiting for the next chance to get free of Dunwall Tower. Well, now I'm free. If only I could go back. Aramis Stilton was once an ally of the Duke. The owner of Karnaka's mines, Stilton lived in a fortified bunker at the heart of the Dust District. No one's seen him for years, since around the time Delilah started making her moves. But whether Stilton's alive or dead, his home holds the key to Delilah's immortality. Ashworth, the Duke, Jendosh, all of them. T 
taken by Delilah, as I was for a time. So many years ago, a prisoner in that old pub, sleeping in a dog kennel. Now in this pub, will wonders ever cease? Strange being here with you. Great events arise from unexpected interconnections. As a boy, the Duke meeting Delilah, Corvo given to Dunwall as a young soldier. We're all setting things into motion all the time. Making is out in the city, but I'll explain. I never expected to feel so tired. Paolo is not that old, but there's so much living written into the lines of his face. The Vice Overseer for Karnaka, Liam Byrne. Visiting the Royal Conservatory got us closer to understanding Delilah's secret. Now for the next step.
So our young friend is headed into the Dust District. Nobody lives there unless they don't have a choice. And people like Emily don't even visit. According to Sokolov, she'll be trying to get into Aramis Stilton's house. <laughs> Not easy. I've tried. Stilton was a friend. Even as a mine owner, he was a good man who came up from working people and never forgot it. I went looking for him the night he disappeared. But the house was swarming with the Grand Guard. I showed them what I was worth, but it cost me. I'll live to see that score settled. Dust District. Hmm. I've read about the winds coming through the cleft in Shindere Peak. How the city uses it for windmills and mining operations. With Ashworth eliminated, that should hamper Delilah's plans. I need to know why Delilah can't be killed. Everything we've learned implies that something strange happened at Aramis Stilton's home three years ago, but then he disappeared. Stilton lived in a bunker kept secure by a fancy lock made by Jindosh. Maybe inside you'll learn more about how to stop Delilah. But I have to get there first. Through a ruin created by the Duke, where my father grew up. Megan had an intriguing idea. Paolo is leader of the Howlers. He wants Vice Overseer Byrne killed. And of course, Byrne wants Paolo dead too. Both groups will attack you on sight, but walk in with the corpse of their chief enemy, and they'll treat you like family. You think they'll help me get into Aramis Stilton's home? I'm pretty sure that will work. Seeing this place and these people... I can feel my perspective changing. How will I be different after this? Take Megan's skiff closer.
Who was the man I'm after? Aramis Stilton? An ally to the old Duke. Loyal and smart. Stilton helped build modern Karnaka with those silver mines. Started as a miner and worked his way up until he was a prince of industry. But now the new Duke drives the mine crews night and day. Dust falls non-stop onto the district. What was once prosperous is now in ruins. I suppose the Duke doesn't care, as long as he sips from silver cups. And what are the cups at Dunwall Tower made from, Empress? In any case, you'll have to pass through the Dust District to reach Stoughton's home. Maybe he's still in there, or maybe he's dead. Once you reach the Dust District, she'll tell you more. I'll wait here with this skiff and take you back to the dreadful whale after you finish. The mines could have been run slower for another generation. Only the Duke's greed caused all the ruin here. Has life been better here under Dunwall's influence? Or are the people worse off for it? Without the Empire, would they have thrown down the Duke? The people here have never seen the Duke's banquet table, or yours. through the dust district anymore. Orders from the Duke. We're losing too many people. Good soldiers blinded by that hallucinogenic powder the howlers use, then stabbed to death or dragged down by the Abbey's hounds. One young lieutenant got hit by an overseer grenade, and that was it. She was one of the Duke's distant cousins. Shit. Let's hope they do enough damage to each other so the fight goes out of them. That won't happen until someone manages to kill either Paolo or Vice Overseer Bird. And I don't see you or me beating a pad to the crone's hand or up to the temporary stronghold the Abbey's got set up. Don't let her escape! She can't escape! 
Overseer effectively wants the same thing. Hello, Emily. Stilton's home is just beyond here. But getting inside will take some effort. I've been doing reconnaissance. Talking to people. The Overseers and the Howlers have divided up the district. Just ahead is neutral territory where no one will harass you. But further on, the Howlers and the Overseers both have boundaries set up. And beyond those points, they'll attack you on sight. Aramis Stilton is the real goal. Sokolov said you had an idea. Yes. I believe that if you take out Paolo or Vice Overseer Byrd, the other one will grant you safe passage and will help you get inside Stilton's home. Neutralize either one of them, and bring him to the other. What else do you know that might help me? Byrne is protected by the Overseers. Paolo has the Howlers. But I think he's also got some kind of black magic charm. They say he's got to die twice before the sun sets. Or he can't be killed. Good luck with that.
The Howlers and the Overseers both think they're representing the people of the city. So it's funny that everyone who lives here is terrified of them. How can a gang of cutthroats believe they represent the citizens of Karnaka? Do you think the Grand Guard is keeping the city safe? For everybody not born in a palace, sometimes a gang of cutthroats is all we've got. And sometimes, instead, they come after the people you love with knives. It's not that simple, Megan. I can't argue with that. When the Duke falls, one of these groups could own Karnaka. Better get to know them now. The entrance to Stilton's home is below. That's where I got jumped by the Duke's men a few years back when Stilton went missing. I killed three of them and got away with my life. If Stilton is still alive, go easy on him. He wasn't born an aristocrat. If you've got reservations about going after Paolo or Bird, the Howlers might be holding the secret to the Jindosh Lock, a kind of riddle that otherwise I doubt you'll be able to solve. Open that lock, and you can just walk right through Stilton's front door. This part of the city used to be nice, but digging out the silver too fast has ruined it. Some people get to eat the fancy dishes without ever seeing the animal get its belly slit open. The two sides are struggling over the hearts of the underclass in Karnatha. Vice Overseer Byrne offers them the solace of tradition and structure. The Howlers claim to fight for the people against the powerful. You'll have to decide who's right. The Howlers and the Overseers are breaking bones and cutting out tongues for half a block of territory. Like I said, if you don't want to mess with the Overseers or the Howlers, just walk up to Stilton's front door and try your hand at the Jindosh Lock. Maybe you're smarter than the thousands who've tried to open it.
Your sister says you can beat any lock in the city. I'm not sure why Stilton's house needed to be shut up tight like this. But what do you think? Can you crack it? Give me a minute. Durante knows how to get in here. Paolo had him feeding old Stilton or watching him. I was gonna pay him off for the secret, but Durante got beat down by the overseers and taken away. I don't even understand what this is. I don't see any seams. Jimmy's sister says it's a gimmick. Like he wore it a real locksmith who made it. No, this was built by Karen Jindosh. Scary smart. He's the one who made the clockwork soldiers for the... You up for a beer later? Uh, never mind. Maybe another time. Or not. Let's go.